Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. This is a little mini vlog about cutting and gathering firewood. As I'm travelling around, if I see any decent branches or usable firewood, I stash it on my roof. Then comes the job of cutting it up. Unfortunately, you, because wood burns relatively quickly, you can fill the whole roof up with wood, um, but it'll be gone in a few days, so that's why you need a good supply. This is not the ideal saw to be using for this job. Since I've uh, since I recorded this, I've now got a bow saw, which makes much easier work of uh, wood like this. Although even with the bow saw, I can't cut wood much thicker than that. I do have a chainsaw, but I only get that out when I've got lots of wood to cut up. It's not worth it for little jobs like this, and I didn't have any petrol for it anyway. Yeah, this was quite hard work, but this wood was ash, and that's really good to burn, so it's well worth the effort. Um, it burns very hot, and it lasts quite a long time as well. Unfortunately, most of what you find along the canal would be willow, and that's okay, but it tends to be quite wet. Um, so willow that's been cut up and allowed to dry out for some a period of time is much better to use. Um, but normally, you know, you don't have that choice of doing that. Sometimes when you try and light willow wood, it will just sizzle away and not really throw out any heat. Uh, but any wood is better than none at all, so I take whatever I can find. He'd have been better off with my hand saw. This is the cratch of my boat where I keep kindling wood, which is very important, and any coal that I might have. And of course the cats like it in here as well because it's nice and dry. That's Bushka. I use an axe to split the kindling wood up, and I do that on my front doorstep because it's a nice sort of solid hard part of metal there. You have to be careful of your fingers, but at least you can do this indoors. And because uh, because nine times out of ten, if you need to do this and you have to go outside, it's bound to be raining or really muddy. So this is this is a pretty good place to do it, really. It's very good to heat a boat with wood, uh, but as I mentioned before, it, you do go through an awful lot of it, and so storage is a problem. You can put it on the roof, but then again you've got to keep it dry. And like I said, you can fill your whole roof up with wood, and it will only lasts maybe four or five days when it's really cold. So it's not ideal in that respect. Coal is generally sort of cleaner and cleaner and tidier to use. Um, but I think wood throws out more heat. It burns quicker, but it throws out more heat. Anyway, soon I'll be doing another video where I show you my stove and how I get that lit. So until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.